Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on the basic language of computer programming. Basic language has been around for a long time and it is used to make uh, simple programs, advanced programs, um, games, and lots of other things. So, we can get started by, uh, let's see, how can we, we we'll, we'll get started by opening up my example program, to my documents. All right, we open it up, and pretty much we see the uh, all the code and everything. It's pretty simple code. If you use B Visual Basic or uh, anything like that, it is going to be extremely easy for you. But so it's pretty much a simple calculator with a couple commands built in. You run the program. You have this calculator. Welcome to Command Line Two Number Calculator. Um, the mode, like if you want to multiply, you type in mult, hit enter. The number one you want to multiply, let's say two, number two, 267. And the result is 534. So two times 267 is 534. Then it asks if you want to return to the main menu, you hit Y, and it brings you to the main menu. Now we'll be making a simple program like this. Um, for in a series of tutorials. So what we're going to do is make a program where you have to input a bunch of data, it stores it and then configures it and prints it back to you. So first we're going to start with a comment. Uh, the comment will be print title. And to make something come across the screen uh, or show it on the screen, the code is print and space uh, then quotation marks, then whatever you want to say. So, what is your name? Well, I'll, I'll, we'll actually do the title right now. So, name slash age identifier version one. So let's just let's just do that. Okay. So now we want to sleep, so the user can uh, actually read that. Then after we do that, and after they press a key, we'll make it say like a press enter to continue. Press enter to continue. We'll make it sleep, and then we'll ask for an input. Inputs are very simple. It's just an input command. Input. Uh, what you want to ask. So, what is your name? If you notice, we did not put a question mark because we will automatically put one when we assign a variable. We do that by pressing space, then a semicolon, space again, and assign the variable like, I don't know, name. And we'll sp spell it wrong just for, or name one, so it doesn't get confused with anything. And then, but before the variable can actually be used, we have to actually identify it as a variable. This could be used but with the dimensions command. I don't know why it's called dimensions, but what we're going to do is type in dim, D-I-M, um, name one, one, as string. All right. Now, once we do that, we're going to also dim um, age one as string. Then we're going to have another input. So, input, what is your age? Semicolon, age one. Okay, now that we have all of our information, we need to configure this to print back some data. So, pretty much what we're going to do is make it uh, take the name, take the age, and place it like your name is blah and you are blah years old all right so what we need to do is now we need to press print your name is col space colon space the reason we put the space colon space there is because once we add the variable it will not add any spaces so it won't look very nice so your name is then to add a variable you just press plus then type the variable so name one if the variable is without quotations 
then you're going to want to do plus comma and you are colon or space colon plus age one plus years space years old it's that simple but there's one problem where we dim aged is string string is for uh, alphanumerical characters which is letters um, but we're inputting numbers so we want it as an integer which as you know integers are numbers then after that we want to sleep and there we go so we click run it and we have an oh yeah okay we cannot use plus we have to use and so and name one and you are and and now we can click on it we open it up it says name age identifier version one press enter to continue you press enter then it says what is your name what is your age now that that's not very right because it automatically skips um, the name question and you cannot answer it so the name is blank what we need to do to fix this problem is delete the slate right there now we click run it and it says name age identifier version one press enter to continue what is your name my name is Brandon enter my age I'll just pick a random age here 45 you press enter again and it says your name is Brandon and you are 45 years old um, yeah that's pretty much it and that's a basic tutorial for the basic language uh, this is episode one where we're just ident identifying uh, uh, quick variables, quick variables, um, print screens, and inputs. That's pretty simple for a program. Um, you can also make another uh, stuff and everything like that. So this has been a tutorial by Brandonia Productions. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, part two is our next lesson is going to be on uh, assigning subs and and um, if statements which is pretty much getting the variable and doing something if the variable is a certain thing well thanks for watching